We can finally guys, so guess what, we're gonna tie a fly step by step, uh, today we're gonna do uh, Blacker Spirit Fly number two, so uh, yeah, let's start. Let's get, uh, start with this pattern, uh, Spirit Fly number two, Blacker, uh, Oval Silver Tinsel, so I'm just gonna tie in a piece of it in the back. And tomorrow it's time for uh, live videos again. Uh, there's a new time, a bit later in the day. Uh, I need to drive my wife to work, or from work, actually. There we go. So, starting with the tinsel then. your wraps oops let's redo that I want them to be really tight there we go so going back and then tying in the tin set I'm just going to secure that before cutting it off. There we are. Then I'm just going to apply some pressure back on the tins and make sure it's really tight. So I'm cutting this one off. I can reuse that for another fly. Then we're gonna have gold and yellow tinsel. Here we are. La tinsel silk. I might need a coffee. So I'm just securing that one a bit. There we go. And then I'm gonna cut it off. So tight wraps backwards. And then forward again. Just realized I haven't prepared a tail, so I'm gonna do that. Just securing the silk before cutting it off. There we are. <clears throat> so let's look at the tails. See if I have one with a uh, decent shape. We can try this one. So I'm just bending it a bit to the shape I want. So you see, so I will just cut away all the strands that I don't need. And then 
just make them easy to cut. So I just clean up, up the stem. I'm not going to use the whole stem anyhow, but quite a large piece of it. There we go. So waxing the thread first of all. I'm also going to build up a bit with the thread uh, since we have a, a gap here so to say. I'm going to show you guys. So between the hook and the silk I just need to add a bit more volume else it's going to push up the tail. There we go. I think I'm gonna close in a bit. Let me see if we can get any focus there. No. Now we have good focus. So let's uh, work from there. Yes, I need to move the lights and stuff. So, tying in the tail then. I'm gonna have it on top of the hook, not on the side or anything. And I tie in the whole stem that's left. There we go. Looks okay. Just one fiber there and that I don't want to do as I want. So I'm just going to remove that one. So bury the wood deck on the sides. So I'm going to just take a section here. One for each, each side. Then I just pad them in my hand on top of each other. Like that. There you go. Ostrich hurl, black. So let me add that as well. Then I change to black wax. Doesn't matter really. I like this one. thread and the wax also helps to make sure that the ostrich hurl doesn't slip. in a bit, a few wraps before I cut it off. There we go. That will make it 
to a wing. So now we need to add the flat silver tinsel. Just gonna wax the thread first so the tinsel doesn't slip off later. When you done a silky body and then in this one it should be half mohair but I'm gonna use pig's wool but then you know if you apply the flat tinsel and it slips off and you need to restart it's not the funniest thing in the world so let me just secure this piece of tinsel before doing anything else And this pattern states Pews Silk. And it should be about half. That means less than half because the head is going to eat uh, a proper shank like that. So now I would say it's 50-50. So just uh, think of that when you're applying your materials. And I'm gonna use this one as pews. It's nice to be back tying flies, I'm a bit rusty, uh, but uh, that's uh, half the fun, it makes it a bit more challenging. So let me have a look there, nothing else. So, let's start to apply this one. Tight wraps backwards as always, uh, I'm gonna apply Oof, that wasn't that nice. I'm gonna apply more turns to it moving forward uh, just to give it a bit of shape. Time, but uh, we got plenty of time. It's weekend. Hopefully, I'm gonna see the northern light tonight. Yesterday, it was just uh, cloudy, it was a huge uh, aurora of northern light last night. But when it's cloudy, you don't see nothing. efficient. So let's tie it in. I'm 
go. Pig's wool, orange pig's wool. I need to get my hands on mohair. So if you know where to get it, please uh, write me a private message. It would be nice to actually be able to use it. But I'm using pig's wool as an alternative. I make sure it's a bit bushy. I don't want it to be too clean, so I'm gonna brush it out. I'm gonna leave quite a lot of space here because it's a lot of things going on. There you see. Just brushing it out. Oh, it's all over the place. It's fishy. Let's start with the tinsel. even more. Just gonna secure this one. There we go. So, now the front tackle. <clears throat> Just gonna back some thread. of the hacker. <clears throat> yeah. I bought a new hackle piler but I don't know where I put it in a good place most likely. So I'm stuck with my old one that I hate. It gives you a good uh, challenge. description Ooh, not, no tippet at all in the wing interesting 
but I need to have silver pheasant stripes so I just stop here for a while so I'm gonna add the wing in the sections uh, so let's try it out it's moving already We go. So I have golden pheasant in. I have um, silver pheasant. And I got uh, some red to symbolize like red macau. So it's gonna blend it a bit. So we're gonna tie in a bit shorter strands of yellow uh, to act as yellow macau. Yellow macau is never long, so just a bit of it. There we go, and then we need to have a summer dark. And clean it on both, both sides. And on top of that, I think it's just a mallard. So let's find some nice pieces of mallard. And same here, I'm gonna take quite a big chunk of mallard. Same on the other side. That one looks, looks quite nice. Makes it a bit short. Now it will do. Oops, I've lost it. It, it is a bit short. Let me see what I can do with it. As I just change. We can just go with this one. Yeah, I think this one instead. <coughs> I 
Here we go. We have a bit of a structure. So I'm just gonna clean up and then we start the video again and adding the horns. Uh, we're gonna add the topping and then in front of everything we're gonna have a J hackle and then an ostrich hurl. I did find a nice uh, topping. Also prepared, prepared some Macau horns. So uh, let me just put this one in place. in satisfied with that it's okay the fibers was a bit long there <clears throat> so, Macau. Let's find a nice, nice one, nice length. I don't need to have super long for this one. It's just two o. See if it's sufficient. Yep. Yeah, securing it with some uh, uh, waxed thread. So same on the other side. And then they are done. stretch so to say not left much left to finish at this fly off so tying in the yay just gonna cut on the fibers here in the front so I thought now then later so that's why I do it we go so let's add a few turns of J And a 
come on. <laughs> it's testing my patience. There we go. So just gonna secure it, back the thread properly. And then I need to add everything into place again due to the movement of uh, the wing etc from applying the yay. Broad looks quite decent. So I'm gonna add a lot of wax thread now. That's gonna be the foundation for the ostrich hurl that's going on next. Let's try to add that one then. So adding it the opposite way. Before doing anything here, I make sure to wax the thread again. You don't want to find that out after that you didn't apply wax. So, now this one is turning the wrong way. Happens sometime. So, I'm just gonna pull it out and re reset it until it turns like I want. bit risky here since uh, we can get uh, quite a steep slope let's see how we do as much as I can. I think that's sufficient. More wax. <coughs> Sorry. Then I just do a secure the thread. One off. Good. Overall, looking okay. For not tying any blacker patterns in quite a long while. So let me just finish it off. There you go. So you can blend stuff a little bit more with the dubbing needle. So guys, 
that was uh, Black Gear Spirit Fly number two. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I certainly enjoy tying it. So make sure to subscribe. Um, tomorrow I'm gonna do a live video. Uh, also, Blacky Style Pattern is gonna be really interesting. So join up for that live session and see you later, guys. Bye. <music>